and value. And this morning, I will be teaching you all about the NSPP. What is NSPP? NSPP actually, this is a Republic of 9163 or known as the National Service Training Program of 2001. It is a year 2001 and it is signed by Gloria Macapagaroy. Okay? So, NSPP subject is offered to all higher educational institutions as well as um, technical vocational schools which offers two years courses. If not two years, then NSPP subject should not be offered. So now, for how many units does NSPP is credited? NSPP subject actually is divided into two. We have NSPP 101 and NSPP 2 or 102. And each subject is covered three units and that is equivalent to one semester. But NSPP should be taken for two semesters which is equivalent to six units all in all because it is credited for three units by semester. <clears throat> now, what are the three components of this subject or this Republic Act? We do have three components for this one. We do have LPS, or Literacy Training Service. We do have CWTS or Civil Welfare tra Training Service. And the last one is the ROTC or the Reserve Officer Training Course. And now, the student has the freedom to choose whatever the components that she wants to take for as long as the student must um, take that component for a total of two semesters so that she would cover the total six units which is the requirement to complete this course. However, Amazing. every institution um, differs when it comes to the selection of this um, subject because some institutions um, give the students the freedom to choose. However, in KS, <coughs> the institution where I am teaching, LPS is only offered to education students because this component will be teaching literacy and numeracy to out-of-school youth or those children who are not able to go to school. So most probably, education students really fit with this component and this will serve as well as their preparation. So other course, um, add another component like ROTC um, here in our institution, this is really mandatory for the criminology students. However, other courses has the freedom as well to choose if you really want to go to ROTC except for um, education student. And CWTS, this is open to all, of which the um, CWTS aims to teach um, the student with civic welfare and like indulging themselves more in the society so that it could help as well those um, society who are living in a far flat area or those less fortunate in the community. Okay? So those are the components of the NSPT. Now, then what if I cannot be of this student kind of take the NSPT during the regular semester? Actually, it might be some other institution would do this one and they offer one summer program of which the two semester of course of NSPT will be merged and used um, so that it could be covered up by the student for just one summer program. However, in KKS, we does not offer that one summer program. It is not um, being offered for the reason of NSPT 101 and NSPT 102 is being offered in the first and second semester. So the student will not be able to enroll during um, his NSPT 1, so he must wait up until next year in your school. Say for example, a student enrolled in KKS and KKS doesn't offer LPS and the student wanted to take LPS. So if really the student really wanted to go LPS because she really wants to teach the out of school youth and he wants really to indulge himself in the community through teaching, then might be the school registrar could offer the student to cross enroll with other institutions of which LPS is being offered. However, the student is still covered by the provisions, the rules and regulations under the school of origin, which is KKS. He just need to enroll the other institution for him to get the LPS, which the component that you really wanted to take. Alright, 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 alright. Next is that, what will become of NSCP graduates? So, NSCP graduates, we do have three components. We do have ROTC, uh, that is for ROTC, and we do have that ROTC, which has CWPS and LPS. For ROTC, we will be under the uh, under the provisions of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, subject to work enlistment for the DND requirements for OID, Department of National Defense. Next, for the non ROTC or the LPS and CWTS graduates, they will be under for the National Service Reserve Corps. So they will be the ones who will be indulging themselves to community service, like being schooled that and other services that is being offered in the community, which really needs the help of the group. So since most probably the students will take this one as well. And lastly, um, who shall be
be responsible for supervising the NSC implementation. Most likely, an intelligence institution or higher education institution, the one who is responsible for this one is the college president. So, he is the one who is in highest authority in the institution, but it is with partnership for like collaboration with the NSCP instructors or the, one, the teachers as well as the NSCP coordinator because the president could not really have that one implement, uh, implementation alone, alone. So, he needs the cooperation with the current colleagues like the NSCP teacher and the NSCP instructor. And when it comes to the agencies for the higher education institution, most likely they will be at their check. Alright? Since this is a republic of uh, being um, recognized by the government, so it is now the check who will be supervising in all college institutions or higher educational institutions. And for the technical and vocational courses, we will be under the um, supervision of TESTA. Alright? So, with regards to the grading system for the NSCP, um, it is um, stipulated in the implementing rules and regulations. So, NSCP subject now is having different grading systems. So, they need to deviate from the um, grading system that the institution or the academic um, office of the institution office because NSCP has its own grading system that is stipulated in the IRR. Alright? So, for the attendance and participation in class discussion, it is 20%. Exams 20% and a read and activity reports since NSTP1 has discussion, so it includes as well, it has 15%. But the, um, the one that got the highest percentage when it comes to the grades of these students is community building. This includes now the um, like community commercial, like municipal community because most likely NSTP students would like have this perception that we will be having NSTP like we need to clean, clean. So that's the reason why we do have community building or community immersion is 25% and team participation we have 20%. So all in all, we have 100% for this one. Okay? So it is really a must that first day of meeting with your NSTP students, we as a teacher, we need to um, really inform them about this one so that they will really know that community immersion is a great percentage when it comes to the grade. So that would be all for today. So we will be meeting again for our for my next lesson. So stay tuned and subscribe now. Bye bye. Good morning, everyone. My name is Elena Isman. I will be your teacher for NSTP One Hundred One. So, are you not ready for our class? <laughs> Good morning everyone, my name is Elderly Jean Swan and I will be your teacher for NSCP 101. Be ready for our lesson for today. By the way, I'm going to introduce to you what is our course all about. And for that one, you will learn what are the components of NSCP, why is it essential that NSCP will be implemented in the school curriculum, and what are the, what are the agencies that NSCP is concerned, and many more. Okay, so first, by the way, this will be our reference book, NSTP or National Service Training Program Resource Lab Book, Second Edition, written and compiled by Sergio Fahey. Okay, everyone, why there is a need for us to learn NSTP or National Service Training Program? Let's not know or we will be learning about 
the primary or national service training program. So this is a Republic Act of 1963, or also known as National Service Training Program of 1963. 1963? 1963, month of 2001. our taking like the session for our first vlog and this is our speaker miss wine Hi. that is mom's wine yours truly we do have here our mga dalubhasa sa wikang filipino at mayroon tayo ditong dalubhasa sa aspeto ng a doctor in Ano ba ang Pilipino ng dok doktora sa edukasyon ng mga liderato? Uh, liderato, basta. Doctor in... Basta, oy. <laughs> Our expectation for this one, we thought that this is very much easy because we... Just need to take video of ourselves, but no, it's not. <laughs> Thank you so much.
so much everyone for watching with my first vlog and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification below and hopefully you have enjoyed watching my video and hopefully you have learned something from it especially about the Republic Act 9163 since this is a Republic Act that is really offered to all higher education institutions and to all technical and educational schools 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 and also hopefully um, guys you enjoyed watching my first vlog vlogging like high level and um if you have more suggestions about my next content just Maybe. comment below okay about interviews with Sir Ben okay so I think that would be all for today